a small topic, important nonetheless, Gillis test. Okay, I just don't know how to say it. Gillis test. Okay, uh, it's a test to assess the hearing ability of a person and to differentiate between if it is a bone conduction deafness or if it is a sensory neural deafness. Okay, so person is having hearing loss and you want to know which one it is, you can perform the Gillis test. For this, you need a special instrument that is called the Siegel's Speculum. Okay, no, Siegel's Speculum is nothing but an ear speculum, okay, cone, which has a tube attached to an ear pump. Okay, using this, what we do is we pump it after inserting it to the external auditory canal so as to modify the pressure the air pressure in the external auditory canal then what happens if a person is suffering from sensory neural hearing loss there will be a decreased in hearing okay there will be decreased hearing in case of sensory neural hearing loss with the increase in metal pressure the decreased sensation of loudness will be present in sensory neural hearing loss now imagine if the thing is normal okay he's not affected by the increase in metal pressure then you can say that it has to do something with bone conduction deafness okay if it's normal then it has something to do with bone conduction deafness where do you see bone conduction deafness most commonly Gellis test is used to diagnose otosclerosis. Okay, so Gellis test, if it comes normal, if the person has normal hearing even after increasing the external auditory meatal pressure, then you can say that it's due to some bone conduction deafness, which is also seen in otosclerosis, where there is fixation of stapes and there's improper transmission of sound. Okay. I'll see you in my next video.